Hi everyone, Cobbler Bros here, and today I wanted to bring you a video about some of my favorite tiny pieces of gear that pack a big punch. So they are small, but they're mighty. Here's some of my favorite small items for the trail. I think one of the items that saved my sanity the most while I was on my 2023 Appalachian Trail through hike was my Sea to Summit bug net. <laughs> Especially during the summertime when we were getting buzzed by all kinds of bugs, mosquitoes, noceums, gnats, these tiny little black gnats that would just congregate in clouds. Guys, this bug net saved my sanity because it kept the gnats out of my eyes, out of my nose, out of my mouth. Um, it didn't keep them necessarily out of my face, but it kept them out of reach where I knew they were not going to get into any of this. This thing is amazing. It weighs almost nothing, packs down to an extremely small size, and guys, it is totally worth it. These are like 15, 20 bucks, and I 10 out of 10 recommend it. This is a Sea to Summit bug net. Now, this is an item that I initially got from a trail angel for free, and I wish that I remembered what the brand name of it is because this thing is fantastic. This is a little micro towel, and this is the largest size I think that they sell, um, or at least it was the largest size I could find at retailers on trail. But this starts off about yay large in a little block, and you add water, it rehydrates, becomes this big towel, and these were so good for absorbing water um, or any other messes that you made. So I would use a towel this size to towel off my entire body. If we went swimming at a swimming hole, I would use this in the morning to wipe condensation off the inside of my tent. I would use it to wipe my feet after river crossings. This thing was incredible and it would absorb so much water and then I could wring it out and use it to absorb more water again. I love these. I end up carrying three or four of these at a time on trail because they're lightweight and they were so useful to me. Something else that is universally useful, small but mighty, is Yoli Ziploc bag or any other generic brand bag you can find at the gas station. Walmart or any other supplier on trail. Um, these are great for keeping your cell phone dry, for keeping anything you want dry, dry. You can use the smaller bag as your wallet like I did, or you can use it to rehome all kinds of food so you're not carrying around big heavy packaging. These were just universally incredible and we went through so many Ziploc bags on the trail guys and I always kept a Ziploc bag of Ziploc bags and various sizes in the top of my pack just because because I use Ziploc so often. This is not super small, but it made a huge impact on my trip. You guys will remember it from pictures and videos from my trip that I carried this Cotopaxi fanny pack everywhere. I think this is the 1.25 liter, but it was so useful to have an extra pocket essentially for my backpack that I would just wear in front. And I would keep all of my essentials in here. So a lot of these tidy items that we're going over today actually landed in my fanny pack. So I 10 out of 10 recommend that you guys consider a fanny pack for your hike. Um, it might look like you're your parents going to Disney World in the 80s, but you know what? Fanny packs are super in right now in the hiking world. And it's great to have that extra little bit of space. And and also, this is basically a town bag, guys. So I recommend a fanny pack. I love Cotopaxi personally, which you guys will know um, from watching my through hike, but there she is, small but mighty. These are not nearly as small as they could be, but I definitely recommend getting some kind of glide for yourself. This is the Body Glide Foot Glide. I use this every single day on my feet, the whole foot, I would just glide the whole thing in between the toes, then put my gingies on, then put my darn tough socks over that. And the combination of those three, the two socks and then the body glide foot glide, honestly, I did not get a blister on trail. 2200 miles no blisters and I owe a lot of that to this. It's not that heavy. This is the, I think, 0.8, yeah, 0.8 ounce. Um, container of the foot glide and this lasts for a surprisingly long time, but I definitely recommend you invest in it. It's great. Um, also this, unfortunately, I never found this any smaller, but you can get this gold bond body glide from Walmart. I used this every day in the summertime over all of the hot spots, places where my backpack would rub, um, underneath my bra, um, under my underwear line. And this helped prevent chafing and skin breakdown and a lot of skin related pain while I was on trail. But these are small, but very, very mighty pieces of gear you might wanna consider investing in for your hike. 
Something else that's small but extremely mighty, and a lot of hikers are carrying these now on trail, are your personal GPS or personal locator beacon devices. I use the Garmin InReach Mini 2. As you can tell, it's not a lot bigger than my hand, and um, this has a GPS function. You can also check the weather from here. You can text via satellite to your family members. Um, these devices are expensive, um, and then you have to have a subscription plan to get it to work. Um, however, this lent a lot of peace of mind to my family members and also to me, even though honestly, if you're through hiking the Appalachian Trail, you probably don't need this. It's a very populated trail. Um, and honestly, I used it the most for texting in areas where I didn't have signal, but it's a very small but very mighty piece of equipment that I felt a lot better about carrying when I was on trail. Now, you guys will remember from all my pictures and videos that I wore a buff pretty much every day. Now, this was a buff that I got during trail days from the track. Um, it's the AT themed buff. Um, I wore an Appalachian Trail themed buff for most of the hike, only wore this a few days, ended up sending it home just because um, Snapchat had the same one and it got lost at one point. But at any rate, turn back up again and here she is. Buffs are fantastic and you'd be shocked by the number of uses you have. You can use this as a towel. You can use this to hold your hair back. You can make a little hat out of it. You can make it a neck gaiter um, to keep the sun or the wind off. I, I used one in my cook pot when I put my fuel can down in there so that I didn't rust out my cook pot. You can use this as a sweat rag, a snot rag. Like these are so versatile and they weigh hardly anything and pack down to a very, very small size. But most of the time you'll get away with wearing these as worn weight. Definitely worth the wait um, if you are looking for something that's extremely versatile to put in your backpack. So a couple pieces of gear that people don't, I don't think, appreciate quite near enough until they have to use them is the Sawyer Squeeze Blue um, Ring Adapter. You can use this little device to filter by gravity. You can literally just hang your bag up and leave it there. Um, it it's literally five bucks of like lazy man's heaven. Now, another piece of gear, um, I purloined a lot of these from hiker boxes, not even gonna lie. This is a spare O-ring for the Sawyer squeeze. Um, I don't know how, but I managed to lose like two or three of these when I was on my hike. And if you don't have this O-ring, <laughs> you're not gonna be able to filter water with your Sawyer because you're not gonna have any way to keep the dirty water from getting into your clean water bottle. Um, I was able to pilfer so many of these from hiker boxes because most people will take the sort air squeeze out of the box that it comes in and they'll leave this little blue um, adapter for a hose in there and those always have an o-ring in them and I swear nobody ever uses them because they're always left in hiker boxes but I would go in and snag the o-ring out of that little piece that no one ever uses and have spares. Something else small but mighty that I loved was hairband and the guys used to call this my like telephone cable hairband um but I have really long hair so it gets really heavy and it's also kind of like I don't know if silky is the right word for it but it doesn't like to stay in a standard hairband when I try to put it up and some of you ladies know exactly what I'm talking about so this like telephone cable e sort of hairband was honestly a lifesaver for me I always had a spare one of these on trail in case I lost my original or it broke but it never did it lasted the entire 184 days um, I was on trail and it worked great to hold my hair back Okay, I think this piece of equipment probably got more use than just about anything else in my backpack and I was not expecting it. This is my sewing kit, guys. Um, I pretty much took a piece of cardboard, wrapped a whole bunch of like utility thread around it and put a needle in it um, and stuck it in a little baggie in my backpack. And I had to sew so many of my things back together on trail, my tent, MC's backpack, some of my clothing items, um, and a few other sundry items that I don't remember, but this got so much use and it takes up almost no space, but you will not regret packing a tiny little sewing kit. Just make sure you got some kind of hard something um, so that your needle doesn't poke through it and you don't lose your needle. Another thing I loved that is pretty small is this Victorinox Swiss Army Knife. And I love this. Um, it has a little pair of tweezers in it. So if you need to pick out a splinter or ladies, if you want to tweeze those eyebrows while you're on trail, you can use this for it. Um, it also has a little toothpick, which honestly I've never discovered a utility for. Um, 
in it. And then my favorite part about it is it has these little scissors and these are surprisingly sharp and durable. So you can cut type, you can cut moleskin, you can um, cut thread, you can cut your nails. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff with that. And then of course it has your standard little pocket knife attachment and also a um, flathead screwdriver and a file, which you can use as a nail file on there. Um, and it doesn't weigh a lot. It doesn't take up a lot of space. And I would never be caught on the trail without one of these Swiss army knives on me. All right. This is an essential for everyone's pack is a headlamp. Now this is a Nightcore new, um, headlamp and it has a red light function and a white light function. I replaced the head strap, um, with something that was a lot lighter than what came with it. They've since come out with a new model of this, um, that actually has a head strap that's very similar to this. So it weighs like an ounce, doesn't take up much space in your backpack. Um, and I always had it in my fanny pack in case I needed to night hike um, or use it at the end of every day, but this is a great headlamp and everybody needs one. So I would recommend the Nightcore, but uh, there are a lot of brands out there that are now making really lightweight headlamps um, that you guys can definitely check out. This is not super small, but you ladies will recognize this as a Kula cloth and this is an antimicrobial pea cloth. Um, this is the dirty side, so the side that you use to wipe after you go to the bathroom in the woods. P only, please, this is not to replace toilet paper for if you're going number two in the woods. Um, and then this is your clean side that's on the outside, and it has a convenient little hook that you can hang it off of your backpack, or in my case, off of my fanny pack, so I always had it accessible. Um, and these are fantastic. They'll save you so many cat holes um, for just pee toilet paper, because yes, you are supposed to dig a cat hole to dispose of your toilet paper even if you just went number one because nobody wants to see surface paper no matter what's on it now just as a fair warning they're gonna start to smell like pee after like a month to two months on trail so if you notice that something's smelling really strongly of ammonia in your tent and you in your for sure it's not you because you need more protein um it's probably time to replace your kula cloth because um, you know, they can only do so much with their antimicrobial coating, but you can wash these. And I always washed it when I was in town um, and they're fantastic pieces of gear. I do also recommend buying the on-brand Kula cloth. Don't buy the off-care, like the off-brand stuff from Amazon because these will last a lot longer. 10 out of 10 recommend on-brand Kula cloth. Okay, this <laughs> unassuming tiny little ball. This is a cork ball by Rology and it weighs nothing. It's very entertaining if you want something to fidget with in camp, but it is most useful for rolling out your feet, your calves, your thighs, your knees, your hips, even your back, your shoulders, your arms, basically anything you need rolled out at night. When you have really sore muscles, this little ball came in so handy. We rolled out so much at the beginning of the trip when we were just sore because we were not in through hiking shape. Um, and even towards the end of the trip when I just had ran to make some Hanes crop up, this was well worth the weight and the volume it took in my pack, which obviously is not that big. I mean, it's the size of my palm. Um, definitely loved it now this is a piece of gear that i kind of made myself um so i had some leftover polycro from making my tent footprint fit my tent appropriately and it was a great size for a little in-tent doormat i would throw this baby down in the corner of my tent stick my backpack and my shoes on top of it and it kept a lot of dirt and debris out of my tent because i could just pick it up in the morning and shake it outside my tent um and get rid of that that dirt that dust that mud that would accumulate on my backpack and on my shoes throughout the day i carried this in my fanny pack all the time and it was definitely worth it and it's polycrow so it basically doesn't weigh anything small but very useful obviously an umbrella is not small um, I'm not actually showing you the umbrella it's because my umbrella clip is still attached to my umbrella um, it was more convenient for me to store it that way but for those of you who are umbrella users Gossamer Gear and I'm sure other agencies as well make this hands-free umbrella clip it has a little um, like grippy clip area that you put your umbrella in. I put a little bit of medical coban underneath it to keep it from sliding around and it did a great job. And then it has a Velcro strap that you loop through the plastic loop on the other side. You loop this around the shoulder strap of your backpack and then Velcro it 
and now you have a way to use your umbrella hands-free. So you can keep those hands-free for trekking poles um, and you don't have to worry about holding your umbrella. Now you do wanna pair this with a couple of bungee straps. I would usually loop this around my chest strap and then I would have a, another bungee strap up here just to keep the umbrella from flopping around a whole bunch. But this hands-free umbrella clip was so worth carrying with me um, just because I um, am really clumsy and fell a lot of times on trail and definitely needed my trekking poles at every moment. And last but not least, a backpack liner. So I did not use any kind of backpack cover on my trip because the fact of the matter is whether it's waterproof or not, chances are it's not actually waterproof. Um, chances are it's water resistant and it's gonna get wet no matter what you do. So I always carried a double backpack liner literally two plastic liners for my backpack. Um, and I would put my sleeping bag and my down booties and my down puffy and my camp clothes in here, anything I wanted for sure to be dry in my backpack went inside these bags and they were so great. You could also use a cheap compactor bag from Walmart to line your backpack. They're really easy to replace and they help keep water from getting to the things that matter to you inside your backpack when it pours down rain for the fifth day in a row and everything is in some kind of varying state of being wet. So there we have it. Those are my small but mighty pieces of gear that I would recommend you look into for your next hike or your Appalachian Trail through hike. If you guys have any questions or comments or your own pieces of tiny but mighty gear that you want to suggest, feel free to put them in the comments section below. As always, please like and subscribe to the video, share the channel with your friends, and happy trails everyone. Thank you for tuning in.